All right, Raider Nation, it is game day, and that means that the Las Vegas Raiders are going to be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers today, and it is going to be the first official start for young Aiden O'Connell in the 2024 NFL season. We know that he's gotten a couple of garbage time starts when the Raiders were already clearly going to lose the game, but today he has the opportunity to prove himself, but his opportunity is going to be fraught with difficulties today because he is going to be without two key offensive weapons. That's right, we already know Devontae Adams will not be playing in this game because of his hamstring injury. We'll see what happens next week if he is not traded. But to make matters worse, we are going to be without Jacoby Myers today. He is listed as doubtful and usually when that happens, he's not going to play. And that means that Aiden O'Connell is going to have to rely heavily on an untested Tyreek McAllister and DJ Turner. Now, we know what Brock Bowers can do. We know what Trey T Tucker can do. But we don't know what Tyreek McAllister can do, and we don't know what DJ Turner can do. So let's get into that in today's episode of the Raider D Podcast. Let's break down Tyreek McAllister. Tyreek McAllister was originally drafted by the Denver Broncos. He was then later cut and ended up going to play in the Canadian League, where he excelled, particularly excelled on special teams, kick returns, stuff like that. But he is also a very versatile type of wide receiver because he can also play running back. And we've seen him used like that a couple of times already with end rounds in this season. And he was pretty successful. Tyreek McAllister is an absolute blazer. He has phenomenal speed right up there with Trey Tucker. So you're going to have two speed demons out on the field today, which is going to make the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive backs have to play off. What this is going to accomplish if the Raiders offensive coordinator, Luke Getze, can have an effective game plan for this is that if they're going to play off and respect Tyreek's speed and Trey Tucker's speed, you should have a lot of underneath stuff. Think post routes and stuff like that, comebacks, slant routes. Those should be open all day long for Aiden O'Connell to take advantage of. Now, we know that this is one of the good things about Aiden O'Connell. This is one of his strengths. He's really good when it comes to the underneath stuff and getting the ball out of his hand quickly, making that quick decision. As soon as his back foot hits the ground, boom, the ball is out. It's a seven, eight, 10 yard pickup. This is how you keep the chains moving. The other thing that this is going to do is it's gonna keep Aiden O'Connell off of his back because they have TJ Watt over there and the dude is phenomenal. Like I've said before, the second best defensive end in the NFL next to Max Crosby. And he may even be right up there with Max Crosby, except for the fact that he does not play anywhere near the percentage of snaps that Max Crosby plays. So you want to protect Aiden O'Connell today. You want to make sure that he is staying off of his back. He is not getting sacked or pressured. And the way that you do that is you throw the underneath routes. This eventually will push the Pittsburgh defense up and they'll have to start guarding the underneath routes. The second that happens, you hit them with the deep ball over the top. Once that happens, then you are in control of today's game. Now, remember, this is a home game. We have home field advantage and the Raiders really need to take advantage of home field advantage because yet we have a horrible record so far playing at home since we have moved to Vegas. And it's high time that we just start defending our castle. I think Tyreek McAllister being in there today, if he can be effective at wide receiver, will go a long way for the Raiders being able to do this. Now, let's move over to DJ Turner. We know who DJ Turner is. He's been with the Raiders for a couple years now. DJ Turner has been a supreme asset on special teams, but this guy is a wide receiver. He just hasn't ever really gotten his shot to show what he can do. Now, he's gotten a couple of shots this year to come in and get some downs and even be able to come in as a starter. Not much happened. Gardner Minshew was the quarterback. Let's see if his fortune changes under Aiden O'Connell being QB1. If that is the case, 
And for DJ Turner to start getting some serious yards and catches, because one thing about DJ Turner that is really special is once you get the ball into his hands, he's difficult to bring down. He's very shifty. Remember, he's a special team specialist. This guy knows how to get out of tackles. He knows how to shift. He knows how to move. And he knows running lanes. And so we want to focus on getting DJ Turner the ball early, get the ball in his hands. He's a playmaker. Let him go and do his thing and hopefully pick up yards and touchdowns as he's done so far already in the 2024 NFL season. However, here's the main thing that we need to take away from this. Brock Bowers is obviously going to be the point of emphasis for this Pittsburgh Steelers defense and expect that they're going to try and take Brock Bowers out of this game very quickly. They're going to do cloud coverage over him. You're going to see a safety over him. You're going to see a nickel corner over him. You're going to see a linebacker over him. They may even try and triple team him to take him out of Aiden O'Connell's arsenal early. If you get away from Brock Bowers and stop throwing him the ball, it is going to make this game very difficult. So hopefully Luke Getze, which at this point I don't have a whole lot of faith in, but hopefully Luke Getze can come up with a way being innovative to make sure that Brock Bowers is able to get the ball thrown to him because as we seen last week, it only takes one pass to him to get a touchdown. If he has his man beat, if he is guarded by a safety or a corner, he is very difficult to bring down. He is a very talented tight end with athleticism that is unlike most tight ends in the NFL. So the Raiders need to make sure that they're getting Brock Bowers the ball often and early. If they do that, the Raiders have a really good shot at success today. Guys, make sure that you join me for the live play-by-play -play broadcast of today's game. Come, it's a fun party. We'll have a fun time. And if you haven't subscribed yet and got some value out of this, man, hit that subscribe button. Come join the Raider D podcast for your daily Raiders content. Love y'all. Let's go Raiders.